Hello, welcome back to Advanced Cello Tips. In this video I would like to practice an often neglected technical element, that of gestures. I have chosen the Elga Concerto to show what I call sound gestures. These are expressive gestures which bring out the sound that you have in mind through their motion. This concerto is one of the most dramatic and personal cello concertos. It was written just after the end of the First World War, which had a huge impact on Europe, England and on Elgar in person. It's a highly descriptive and dramatic piece with a lot of changes in atmosphere from dark mooded to lyrical. I will demonstrate a practice method where I sing and make the gesture at the same time, although I'm not a great singer. After that I will play the same passage and I will concentrate on the gestures, not on my technique. And this is a fundamental element of gesture practicing. I use the concept of whole body approach, connecting arms and body and concentrating on the underlying sensation that comes with it. As you can see on the screen, the first introduction theme contains two elements, long notes, sustained, intense, long notes, and eight notes which move forward to the next chord or long note. In the first chord, I hold my arm back to play the sostenuto, to maintain the intensity in the second beat. I do that by tensing my arm slightly. I call that a square gesture. And on the second chord I do the same, but I play that longer to phrase it to the third chord, which I play with an ample round arm gesture to bring out the singing character of the following eight notes. So let's practice this a little bit. Next, we move to the subdominant chord. So don't forget to play a crescendo to hold your arm back and then relax it on the singing eight notes and then we move to the C chord. take that C to give it a full dramatic impact. gesture, one single fluid gesture to place my bow on the B. And then I tack it with a slight accent. I play the passage. And after this dominant, after this pause, I make a slow crescendo towards that low E. I come down and I lean heavily on that note and I maintain the vibrato to sustain the note. So I will now play the whole introduction. Thank you. 
next transition passage raises two musical questions in the first two entrances. And the third one is an affirmation of these two questions. To express the question mark at the end of the phrase, I lift my arm up. So if I would sing this phrase and make the gesture. Second question. Any musical affirmation. And then I hold my arm still to connect visually with the entrance of the violas. Take care to maintain the vibrato and to change from portato to legato on the four last uh, quavers. <laughs> In the following cantabile line, the, the second theme, we can perfectly picture Elgar in his cottage on the countryside, contemplating the green hills, the wind moving the trees. And to express that gesture, I use a very light and fluid arm gesture and I tie the up bow to the down bow with one fluid eh, linking gesture. So for the left hand, take care to vibrate the eight notes to play with a continuous vibrato. I use a fl so-called floating elbow, which anticipates each new finger placement. And this enables the wrist to maintain its shaking action. In the next passage, starting one bar before big number five, to perform that octave jump B, B, I use an ample movement of the left arm, moving freely in, it, in the shoulder joint. And I use a fingering to maintain the vibrato instead of where the 4-1 change hinders a little bit the shaking action, I use them. 1-3-1-3-1. And to sustain the phrase, I use two supporting notes. The first one I play to the G, and the second one is the F sharp, and then I move forwards to the final E. On big number 10, as you can see on the screen, we have to change from legato on the long notes to a fast detaché on the semiquavers. To avoid a tight sound on that first one, I use a little trick. I lift my bow on the previous E 
to enter with a fast bow on the first semi-quaver to give it a broader sound. I will show both ways. First I will just play legato, start from the string and the second time I will lift my bow and enter with a fast one. Now I lift my bow. In the final outburst after big number 16 we need to lean heavily on the long note to bring out the pesante. And a little detail for the left hand to perform that E E octave position change is to hold your bow back on the low E. I show that. I use an abrupt slowing down action of the arm on the fourth beat before big number 17 to perform that sudden pianissimo before the last phrase, the second theme.